What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. It's gonna be Wix versus Squarespace, the ups and downs to both. Now, before we hop into this video, I would like to let you guys know that personally, I'm a fan of Wix, and I prefer Wix. Uh, it's a preference, really, but I am gonna show you the ups and downs to Squarespace and Wix. Um, but personally, I've been using Wix for over five years. I just really enjoy it. I've seen it come such a far and long way, and really it's turned into an editor I love and would love to share with all of you. Now, if you guys are choosing whether to use Wix or Squarespace, maybe this will help you just a little bit more, um, especially making it easier on you guys. But I have just announced my new Wix My Website course, teaching you how to build a website from scratch to finish here in Wix and everything in between and showing you how to add, edit, update everything. So I've been working on this for a very long time. If you guys are interested in checking this out, go to wixmywebsite.com, link in the description below, and you can go pre-order now. If you go pre-order within the next couple of days, you will get a coupon for 10% off the course, and the coupon code is WMWPRE, link will be in the description below and the coupon code will also be in the description below. Now let's hop into today's video, Wix versus Squarespace. So right off the bat, I'm gonna take you through the templates. When you're first choosing a website, you're gonna wanna choose a template that you enjoy um, and that's gonna work best for you and that you could really work with and change up uh, to your needs. So Wix, by far has more templates than Squarespace. Uh, Wix is loaded with templates. Um, you can see they have all different categories from business to landing pages to blogs to restaurants to music to video. They are saturated with templates. All of their templates are pretty good looking um, and especially their newer ones. Wix has definitely added and updated as they've grown and their new templates are really looking good you can see some of these templates here um, and they have different categories like the new the most popular templates um, and yeah so it so as far as templates go Wix has more however a downside to Wix templates that you need to know is that uh, they're not as mobile responsive as Squarespace now with that in mind Wix also has in their editor a mobile editor too. So it allows you to customize the look of your website on what would be a mobile phone. So you could definitely customize it like that. Again, it's not as responsive as Squarespace's, um, but it does allow you to do that. I also want you guys to know that once you pick a uh, template here on Wix, Unfortunately, th this is a little bit of a pain, but you have to stick with that template. So, and what I mean by that is you can't take your website and then tr like transfer it over to a new template and just have all the content transfer with it. In order for you to switch templates here on Wix, you have to actually go select a new template and start building a new website again. So it's very important that you choose the correct template that you want. Make sure you open it, you view it. Once you view it, you're able to check out, say, okay, I could work with this, I could edit this, I could change it up, and then you would click edit this site, and then you could start editing. So that's Wix templates. Um, you saw the ups, which is that they have quite a few more templates. Uh, their designs are really nice. They do have a power mobile editor um, that's very advanced. But the downsides are, as I mentioned, uh, they're not as responsive. And once you pick a template, you got to stick with that one unless you want to create a new website. Now with Squarespace, they also have a good selection of templates. Now, they do not have as many templates as Wix. I know it, from this page, it looks like they have quite a bit, um, but they don't have as many as Wix. The difference here is, the Squarespace templates are a little bit more responsive and do just conform to a mobile phone pretty easily. Uh, Squarespace does not have a mobile phone editor as they are built to be responsive to the phones. Now, the other upside of Squarespace's templates is that you are able to change a template mid-website if you so choose. Now, 
is this necessarily a good thing when building a website? I would say no. I mean, personally, I would pick your template from the beginning and stick with it unless there's something major wrong with it. But the difference about Squarespace and Wix is even if you have a template that you're not a huge fan of in Wix, you could literally com completely transform that website to be com something else entirely. So you could pretty much make any Wix website you want and you can make it do anything really on Squarespace once you get the template you're kind of stuck with this template um, but you can change your template but it, it's not as easy to just move things around and change exactly what you want and I'll get into that now so the next thing is actually editing your website so in Squarespace it's still considered a drag and drop editor however you can't just take buttons and drag them or take menus and drag them you use this n pretty much editor bar over here to the left and it has different sections of your website each section you're allowed to click this little button and you could edit it you can modify content um, and do all of that you can see edit right here to edit content you must first create a page like this so you actually have to go create your pages these are all demo pages but yeah so you would come over here use your editor um, over here and you could always add new sections you could add a new page you could add folders galleries uh, chow now this is for this template which is like an order food you could or, uh, add products to your website so you could have an online store um, so Wix has like I mean they have a bunch of functions or Squarespace has a bunch of functions that you could use um, I just don't think it's as easy to create a website in Squarespace as it is in Wix. However, one thing I will mention is with this type of editor, uh, this allows people that aren't maybe fluent in web design be able to create a more polished website since they can't just go ahead and drag buttons all over the place. Um, but it's still not as customizable as Wix. Now, if we hop into Wix, you could see I'll go to a new page here on Wix you could add whatever you want um, you could add a gallery you can move it wherever you want you could delete stuff you could drag your gallery in there say you want a button under it you could add a button and you could take your button drag it wherever you want make it as big or as small as you want change the text add links and you pretty much have complete control over where everything goes on your website you could change your background your page design uh, you could change the design as a whole on your website you could add um, apps third-party apps so say you have a forum you want to add a forum builder you click add to site add app and then bam you've got a forum builder just like that you could create a form drag it to wherever you like so Wix Personally, in my opinion, just gives you more flexibility over the editor. Uh, you really have complete control. And as I mentioned, I believe you have control in Squarespace, but not as much flexibility or freedom as you do in Wix. Um, in Wix, you can literally take any website and make it whatever you want. You can, Like I mentioned, you can, can completely transform a template to make it your own, um, which is very cool, um, very nice. Now, lastly, which what I kind of want to touch here is the pricing differences. So Squarespace, for your websites only, excluding online stores, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, you could go with the personal, which is $12 per month, or you could go with the business, which is $18 per month. As you can see here, the personal limits you to 20 pages, um, galleries, blogs, unlimited bandwidth. Now, with the business plan, you get unlimited pages. Uh, you get a mobile optimized website. Uh, you do get a free custom domain with that purchase. And you get your support. And it's a 3% transaction fee for fees made on your store. Or 2% transaction fee uh, for fees made on your website. Or for payments made on your website. So, you can see that these are pretty nice um, they, they're pretty decent plans and then there's a different set of plans for online store so for your basic it's $26 per month and 
you get pretty much everything you need to get going. Uh, you can sell unlimited products, you get a free domain, a mobile optimized website, and check out. Uh, you get analytics, you get $100 in AdWords credit, um, you get uh, inventory, discounts, storage bandwidth, and then for $40 a month, uh, this is for businesses. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, except you see they add real-time carrier shipping, um, abandoned checkout, auto recovery. So this is pretty much to send email reminders to people that abandoned their checkout process. So these are pretty good plans here on Squarespace. They are, however, a bit more expensive than Wix. So Wix, there are a couple more plans than in Squarespace. You see the connected domain plan. This is the most basic one. And this just allows you to connect your domain and it gives you 10 gigs of uh, bandwidth storage and you connect your domain and that's five dollars a month that's a very very basic plan here in wix um, but it also note it still displays wix brand ads and what that means is wix has little ads in the corner in the bottom of your website they're not super annoying um, but they do display that unless you have the upgraded plans anything above the connected domain plan um, But the one I want to highlight is these two uh, Personally, this is the one I use on all my websites the unlimited plan. Uh, it's $14 a month It's unlimited bandwidth 10 gigs of storage You get to connect your domain and you get a free domain with that you get $300 in ad vouchers um, you, the Wix uh, ads are removed you get the Site Booster app and the Form Builder app. These are two very good apps to have on your Wix website. In addition to that, some of the stuff you don't see here is uh, you are allowed to accept payments on your online store once you use this plan, which is obviously if you're going to accept payments somehow, some way on your website, you need to have this plan. Um, so it's great for that. Now, if we move over one to the e-commerce plan, uh, this one gives you 20 gigs of bandwidth, 20 gigs of storage. Uh, you also get a free domain, but you see on this one, it adds the online store. So you could sell more um, using this plan, and it's a little less restrictive. And then finally, their biggest plan they have here, which is only $25 a month, is you pretty much get VIP support, instant responses. You get a professional site review. So once you submit your website, uh, you'll have pretty much a Wix Pro look it over and they'll give you critiques, uh, add anything in that you might want added uh, and just help you build the website that you really want. Um, now with that, uh, that's nice. But as you could see, based off of the plans alone, the Wix plans are a little bit more cost effective um, and these plans uh, go for hosting and your domain from these ones up here you can see you get your hosting plus your free domain so these Wix plans aren't only for like a domain in these features but it's actually hosting your website um, which is the same as Squarespace in conclusion guys I know there's a lot of information I kind of threw at you um, and I Threw a lot. I just threw a lot at you. But in conclusion, I want you guys to just take your own opinion, um, make, develop what you want out of this video. Hopefully, take something out of it. Uh, maybe you learned a little bit more. Um, but in my opinion, looking at them, Wix is a little bit more flexible and free. Um, it's definitely a uh, more cost-effective editor. However. As I mentioned, sometimes working with the templates or getting it mobile responsive is a little bit of a pain, but they do have a mobile editor right there um, that is an advanced power mobile editor that allows you to pretty much make your website anything you want in the mobile device. Uh, Squarespace is great. It's got good looking templates. It allows you to change templates mid, mid website. Uh, it does have some pretty cool apps. It allows you to edit it and it keeps maybe non-fluent web designers on track to create a clean website. As I mentioned, in conclusion, I would prefer Wix over Squarespace, but it comes down to personal preference. Whatever you guys think is definitely what you should go with. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up down below. 
Comment if you have any more questions for me. Obviously, there's more ins and outs to each editor and each website platform. Um, and I'd be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert as I'm looking forward to growing. And if you're new to the channel, we love to grow here. And part of that growth is this Wix My Website course. Guys, go to wixmywebsite.com and I will help you build your very first Wix website through my training videos, through this course. And go pre order it now. Coupon code WMWPRE for 10% off when you pre order today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.